Hi, I'm going to talk about carbs versus smoking, which one should you give up? You should give up both. Carbohydrates like cigarette smoking will both eliminate many years from your health and life. Tobacco use remains the single largest preventable cause of death and disease. Cigarette smoking kills more than 480,000 Americans each year, and even worse it is that more than 41,000 of these deaths from exposure to second-hand smoke. In addition, smoking-related illness in the United States costs more than $300 billion a year, including nearly $170 billion in direct medical care for adults and $156 billion in lost productivity. Obesity is the second preventable cause of death and disease. Obesity is one of the biggest drivers of preventable chronic diseases and health care costs in the United States. Currently, estimates for these costs range from $147 billion to nearly $210 billion per year. We have been told to stop smoking and most of us have. In 2015 it was reported that cigarette smoking had hit the lowest point ever among American adults. Smoking was down to 15% from 17% in 2014 and almost 18% in 2013. Good for America and good for you. Now it is time to quit carving. The overconsumption of sugars and grains is what ultimately causes your body to be incapable of controlling insulin and the hormone leptin, leaving you insulin resistant in both body and brain. Insulin controls the way your body stores fat. Excessive insulin is called hyperinsulinism, which brings on diabetes. Diabetes, a metabolic disease in which the body's inability to produce any or enough insulin causes elevated levels of glucose in the blood. Atherosclerosis a disease of the arteries characterized by the deposition of plaques of fatty material on their inner walls. Hypertension is known as high blood pressure, which can lead to kidney failure, strokes and heart attacks. How to become aware of and how to stop carbing carbohydrates exist in all vegetables, starches, fruits and grains. In its unhidden form it is known as sugar. The spike in your blood sugar caused by carbohydrates, relieves your hunger and later is also the cause of your hunger. Once the sugar high goes down, you want another hit of sugar. It hides within many of the foods we love, crackers, popcorn, cake, pizza, pasta, white flour, milk, white rice, ice cream, cookies, potatoes, potato chips, fruits, soft drinks, fruit juices and all processed foods. I have been guilty of eating spaghetti with Italian bread, carb with a side order of cards, because I was not aware of what I was doing to my system. The list is endless because it hides in plain sight in the foods we crave. We crave it for the sugar high it gives us. But like for all addicts the day comes when you realize this stuff will kill you. I call my doctor the carb Nazi because she said, no carbs for you. In my recent annual physical she really laid it on the line. She said, I can tell you what you need to do, but it is your responsibility to do it. Just like the reason I gave up smoking after 30 years, if I got cancer who was I going to blame? The idea of dying from lung cancer in a hospital because I couldn't overcome my addiction was enough to help me stop smoking in 3 days. Watch my video how I stop smoking after 30 years. The idea of dying from a stroke, hypertension, diabetes or a heart attack due to my carb addiction will be the catalyst to help me stop carbing. Paint that picture in your head of you dying in that hospital bed because you could not stop carbing. We must all reduce our daily intake of carbohydrates to almost zero. 
Try it for two weeks to prove to yourself that it is not your willpower or that your laziness is the cause of your obesity. In the next video we will tell you what you should eat in place of the carbs. Please share your story with us and our other subscribers in the comments section or write to us at saturdaydiet at gmail.com so that we can post it. Go to saturdaydiet.com for more information and learn about our weight loss courses. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.